Hi there everyone, welcome back to Chips Unknown. Today we have a great video in store for you, so stay tuned because I think you're gonna enjoy it. So I think you and I both have the same problem, which is the desire to solve common problems in our house. At the beginning of the video, I will address the situation of my household water source being contaminated with impurities. My solution was to make a simple, small water purifier from a plastic bottle and a sponge. Simply, we just need to cut off a section of the bottle body so that the remaining part can hold two seashells. At the bottom of the bottle, we'll drill several small holes to allow water to flow out like a lotus showerhead. Assemble the two halves of the bottle by using a hot glue stick, but do it carefully. It looks pretty cute, isn't it? Next, in the bottle cap, we need to drill an additional round hole to connect it to a small plastic pipe. The purpose of this is to simply make it easier for us to connect it to the water valve. Now our mini water purifier is gradually taking shape. What do you think? And finally, let's install it into the faucet and see how well it filters the water. The water should now be much clearer, right? But we got a problem, it's raining. It looks like the heavy rain has overloaded my roof drainage system. This has prompted me to come up with an idea that is to create an ingenious rainwater collection system. Still using a big Coca-Cola bottle and some PVC pipes, we drilled a small hole near the neck of the bottle and attached pieces of PVC pipe to make a faucet. The mouth of the bottle we attach with another PVC pipe is longer. So our device is now done. Now I will use a larger plastic bottle as a water storage medium to test how this device works.
You see, when the water in the large container fills up, it will automatically flow into the Coca-Cola bottle. This will prevent the water in the container from overflowing much more effectively. The next problem that I want to mention to you is how to clean and filter garbage in the drain. As we know, Coca-Cola has pretty good cleaning ability, right? And so pouring a little Coca-Cola around the drain area after while scrubbing with the tablecloth is the way I usually use to clean this area. And in order for the wastewater system to be filtered more carefully to avoid clogged pipes, I will take advantage of the old Coca-Cola bottle, cut the neck of the bottle, and then punch many small holes on it. The smaller the hole, the better the ability to hold garbage. But you should not make it too small, because it will be difficult for the water to drain. Do you know any other possible benefits from using Coca-Cola bottles like this? Please let me know in the comments below. At the end of today's video, there will be a quite special creation that my family really appreciates. First, I need a plastic jar with a lid. Drill a large hole in the lid. so that it fits the way the heatsink fan you're watching here. Next, I drill a few small holes on both sides of the jar. From a 20 centimeter long PVC pipe, I will cut a frame like this and attach a small fan using super glue. Have you guessed what I'm doing? Well, I'm making a mosquito trap. Next, we need one discarded CD and some blue LED lights to create a mosquito attractant. Using the broken mosquito racket, I cut off the circuit board and the mosquito nets. Now let's install them one by one into the plastic frame. First the mosquito catching mesh followed by the LED lights. A small battery. and then connect them with a small circuit board attached to the on and off switch. We can also design a small battery charger in case the battery runs out of power. Finally, a mosquito trap has been completed.
put some water in a jar and then put it in the bedroom. But can you guess how many mosquitoes this trap will catch? Well, let's take a look because I think it attracted a whole family of mosquitoes, but also small insects as well. It's pretty solid, right? So I'm Tips Unknown. I'm always trying to find new improvements to your home, so don't forget to subscribe and follow my channel to learn more interesting things. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.